Hey, this is Rob here with Eco Panels of Tennessee. And so we asked you for um, some topics to talk about and we got some great responses and this is one of them. Um, and this is covered in our assembly manual, by the way. So um, if you'd like a copy of this assembly manual, just let me know. But uh, this deals with putting sit panels on a slab uh, versus a basement or a crawl space. So a slab would be a concrete slab. Um, I'm actually a huge fan of putting our homes on a concrete slab um, because the concrete slab does so well in retaining energy. It becomes kind of a heat sink and it really helps enhance the efficiency of the home. So let's talk a little bit about how that connection is made. So imagine that this is our concrete slab. It's not a concrete slab. It's a countertop here in the office. But imagine that this is the concrete. So what the connection is a little different than on a subfloor. Um, first, you're going to take a pressure treated wood board uh, because pressure treated wood has to touch concrete. This is not pressure treated. I dug this out of the scrap bin out in the shop, but pretend it's pressure treated. Pretend this is green. So this would be attached to the concrete slab first with the outside edge being the correct dimension as on your sit panel plan. So in other words, if your house is um, 20 by 30, right? So this outside corner of this end of this to the other end would be 30. And from this corner to that corner over there would be 20. So this is gonna be the outside of the panel. It's gonna be here. This one is ripped down to four and a half inches wide, which is the width of our standard wall panel. Now, if you're using the six and a half inch thick walls that we have, then this bottom plate green board would be ripped down to six and a half inches. That way the panel is going to sit right on this. And that way, when you put your siding on the outside, you've got a nice even plane. And when you put your baseboard on the inside, you're going to have a nice even plane. Now, and we're going to flash a detail up here on the screen that kind of shows you a little bit better on how that goes. But this has to be anchored to the subfloor with anchor bolts once this is all assembled. So this would be the secondary plate. This one does not have to be pressure treated. And it's going to be mounted here on top of the bottom plate. So the panel is then gonna sit down over this and rest here. And like this, and then be attached in the side and like in the detail that you see. This needs to be, the anchor bolts need to go all the way through this one and this one into the concrete. Okay, so through this plate, through this plate, and into the concrete. And you can either use J bolts that are installed ahead of time, they're sticking up out of the concrete, or I'm seeing a lot of people, more people use like the Titan screws where you, you actually drill this afterwards into your concrete and use that epoxy stuff. There are several different ways to accomplish that that are code compliant. If you have any questions about that, check with your code officials and see what, what they allow in your jurisdiction. So first green plate, second, second, second plate panel is going to fit right over here. Now the other part of being on a slab is well on your panel plans on our panel plans Rob you have the electrical chases going down to get into the subfloor and that's what we talked about in other videos but on a concrete slab we would chase those conduits up because there's no place to be down so they would go up to the top of the wall and then your connections for electrical uh, lights and switches and all that would be made at the top of the wall, the loops to get around to the next plug or the next light switch. So I hope that kind of answers that question. Again, look at the detail we're going to put on the screen. Um, we have a lot of details about this. If you have any questions, uh, give us a call or shoot me an email and uh, certainly request our assembly manual. There's a lot of details in there. It's a hundred and something pages and it includes pictures, which is helpful. So uh, request that and we'll be glad to send that to you as well.